beautiful subscribers, my beautiful friends. I'm in a great mood. I just filmed another video, so if you see me in the same sweatshirt, I'm sorry, but it's real comfy. Today I wanted to make another kind of like positivity and wellness video for you guys that I've actually been requested to make a couple times, and it is all about how to be a morning person. For those who don't know, if I didn't have to sleep, I wouldn't sleep. I love staying up super late, getting up super early. I know that's not like the healthiest for you. I try and maintain a pretty good sleep schedule, but like if I didn't have to sleep, I would not. And honestly, the reason why I call myself a morning person isn't because I necessarily like love the mornings and think it's like the best time of the day, but I'm a huge advocate for just getting up and starting your day as early as possible and just making the most out of your day. Anyways, I thought that I would share with you guys some of my tips and tricks on how to become a morning person. If you think that this video might help you, then I really encourage you to keep on watching. My first little piece of advice that I just want to give is being a morning person always starts with your nighttime routine so make sure that you're getting a decent amount of sleep every single night. I know that I just talked about how like if I didn't have to sleep I wouldn't but truth be told like because you do have to I really do get like a decent amount of sleep every single night but yeah obviously like if you're not going to bed at a decent hour at night and then you're trying to get up you know semi early in the morning you're obviously gonna be in a bad mood and think that you're not a morning person. My next tip is to wake up with natural sunlight. Now obviously like this isn't always possible. There are days where like I do have to get up super early and like set an alarm and like I can't wake up naturally. But I typically always try to sleep with my blinds open. That way I will wake up with the natural sunlight. I'll kind of feel like I'm getting up with the rest of the world and it honestly just makes me feel a lot more energized. It's not as jarring as like hearing an alarm in the morning. It's a much more peaceful way to start your day. My next tip is to keep your phone across the room from your bed. I know at first you're probably thinking like why on earth is that gonna help me be a morning person? I I will explain. The first reason why I really like this tip is because on the mornings that you do have to set an alarm, if you set it right next to your bed, it is way too easy to hit that snooze button. But if you set it across the room, you have to actually get up to turn your alarm off. And if you're anyone like me, like once I'm up, I am up and there is no chance of me falling back asleep. For me, I really like this tip just because it really helps to kind of just drive me to want to start my day and actually just get up and start being productive. Also, if you keep your phone across the room, you know, like I said, it's harder to hit that snooze button, but also you won't be tempted to kind of like get back into bed with your phone and do that thing that we've all done. You know, those times where you're like, I'm stronger than that, but then you end up like getting back into bed for like an hour and a half and looking on your phone. Not cool. One of the things that I always like to do is as soon as I wake up and get out of bed, I like to drink a glass of cold water. For me, it honestly just really wakes up my body. I oftentimes wake up feeling like very dehydrated and kind of like meh. I've also heard that it really helps to kickstart your metabolism. If you drink like cold water with lemon, it's a very natural like detoxifier. But that is something that I honestly recommend. And because I don't drink coffee, for me, like a good glass of ice cold water will totally like just give me that morning boost that I need. My next tip is to work work out in the morning rather than at night. So for me, I always try to work out in the mornings unless I have a really weird schedule and then I'll obviously adjust. But for me, working out in the morning, you're getting your heart rate up, you're getting active, your blood's pumping, it makes you a lot more just awake, obviously. You know, you're warming up your body, you're stretching it. For me, I just think that that's a great way to start your day if you're not super into working out. Maybe try yoga in the mornings, anything that just gets your body active. Another thing that I really like to do once I'm up in the morning is immediately start my day with like a to-do list. By making a list of goals for myself, I'm already looking forward to things throughout the day and it's just a really nice way to kind of wake up and just give yourself like some guidelines if that makes any sense. I feel like the problem for a lot of people who say that like they're not a morning person, they don't like the mornings, is just the fact that they stay really sluggish. I feel like the biggest thing is just to get your body and your mind moving and get both of those things awake and you'll enjoy the mornings so much more. And lastly, my final tip is do not forget the importance of a really, really good breakfast. I am a huge believer in the fact that if you start your day off with good, pure, nutritious food, it will just make the world of a difference. Now obviously, every single morning you can't have like a lavish, like amazing breakfast. There are days where I'm super busy and I've just gotta grab like a pastry or something and head out the door. However, any day that I can, I always try and start my morning off with fruit, an omelet, eggs, um, I'm not a vegetarian. I really freaking love bacon. So bacon. Basically what I'm saying is never underestimate the power of a good breakfast. It truly is like the most important meal of the day. Like if I skip out on breakfast, oh my gosh, I feel 
horrible for the rest of the day. Those are all my tips. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you'd like to see more of me on this channel. Please subscribe to help me grow the Ruby Rocks the World family. It would mean the absolute world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Okay? Bye, everybody.